I walked over to the the MRI clinic and they spoke in, enough English that I could communicate, right? I mean, this is Germany. Most people, professionals speak English, but you know, I only had to wait for like 15 minutes and then they brought me into the changing room. The technician or nurse asked me if I had any metal on my body. I said, no, told me to take off my Apple watch, which I did. And then he like, there's a, a gurney there and he's like, lay down on the gurney. And so I did. And then he straps me in. Literally, my arms are by my side. I'm strapped in, right? I mean, I guess I probably could have broken out, but you know, I was restrained. Puts this thing over my head. Doesn't tell me anything at all. Just does all this stuff, right? Doesn't say anything to me. Wheels me into the MRI machine. He's like, it'll take about an hour. And then he leaves. <laughs> and fortunately, I'd had a whole body MRI before. Or I would have been like, oh my God, what's happening, Right. Because if you have any sort of like anxiety around the procedure or claustrophobia, they didn't ask any of that. They just stuck me right in the machine, didn't tell me anything. And then about 10 minutes in, so I fell asleep, which that's fine. They didn't play any music or anything, which was disappointing. But I fell asleep in the machine. And then it starts talking to me in German. I have no idea what it was saying. My only guess is that there's one part where you're doing the MRI where it's telling you to inhale, hold your breath, and exhale. So I guessed that's what it was telling me. But I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Did you do it just <laughs> Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> so I found that interesting. And not atypical with healthcare systems that customer service is lacking. But um, it was, uh, yeah, it, it was, it would have been very anxiety provoking. It was a little bit anxiety provoking on its own, but it would have been very anxiety provoking if I um, hadn't had an MRI before. 